All right, this is Lone Star Conference Media Day. Jeremy Bryant here with Angelo State Rams basketball. We have uh, with us new head basketball coach Cinco Boone along with Mark Godul. And uh, Cinco, I, of course, I got the new job here. And in fact, it's such a big deal. I decided to pull out my fancy suit just for you today. Hey, we appreciate that. I had to wipe the dust off and everything else <laughs> from last season. Uh, but hey, we're ready for a, a new season, and I know you're super excited about this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, Midnight Madness being uh, a couple weeks ago, you know, seeing the excitement in the crowd and seeing the kind of turnout that we had, and then our guys are excited, and, you know, the season's here. So uh, we're definitely excited for the 15-16 season. You kind of had a, a different road to this, to Angelo State than probably some coaches did. You start off, you're, you're you know, in rodeo in high school and college, and then here you are coaching Division II head, uh, basketball. Oh, yeah, I tell people all the time I'm probably the weirdest basketball coach <laughs> you've ever met, you know, um, to have college rodeoed for four years at Eastern New Mexico, and then, uh, but I was coaching the whole time. You know, I was coaching at a high school there in New Mexico the whole time, and as soon as I could get into college basketball, I did. I sold all the horses and, and got to college basketball and have just tried to, to find a place where um, you could win championships and be in a great city, and, and uh, I found that here in San Angelo. Just to make everything so we understand, you were not a bull rider. You were a calf rider. I was a calf rider. I was not. Yeah, it's a big difference. I, I, there. Big difference. Would you ever step on? Would you ever sit on a bull? Ever? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so let's talk about uh, your team. A lot of newcomers. Uh, we got Amari here. We'll talk to him in a second. But besides him, it's just a lot of new faces. Yeah. You know, last year's team, we had several seniors. We had some career-ending injuries on last year's team, and then a couple of transfers. So that led uh, to opportunities for to go get some new people and. Uh, of course, having Omari back, a, a two-year letter winner and a, basically two-year starter, uh, you know, it was nice to have as, as, your, as your centerpiece. And then we've just gone out and added a lot of new faces, and uh, particularly from the Division One and junior college ranks. And so we're right now we're working on the chemistry side of everything, everybody getting used to one another and, and uh, just getting down work ethic and, you know, just hoping that everything meshes well before November 13th. You're in a unique position. I can't imagine a lot of coaches across the country who are in the shoes that you were in because you were an assistant the last two years. You know everything there is now about Angelo State. So going out, and you, and you did a fantastic job recruiting beforehand, but uh, it gives you a little extra edge because you've done this last couple of years. Uh, yeah, I've told a lot of people that I think that I had an advantage uh, when it came to recruiting and when it comes to admission standards and it comes to all the ins and outs of what you're supposed to know when you, when you get a job. So I kind of had a... Um, maybe a little bit of an advantage compared to some other guys that get a, a new head coaching opportunity. So, um, but the recruiting went well. Uh, we're excited about uh, what Omari and Javon and our returners are bringing compared, you know, along with what these new guys are bringing to the table. So uh, just really looking forward to that first competition and, and uh, first game and first outing and, and ready to get going. Let's go to uh, Amari Godul now, who's a, a senior from Congo. And, and Amari doesn't seem like that long ago. You know, you're just a young sophomore, came over here from Ranger Junior College, and here you are now the senior captain, the t you know, one of the leaders of the team. It's, you know, it's been a good couple of years for you. Oh, uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And just like you said, just time is flying. And, you know, we're here now. So talk about just your love affair with ASU. You've talked a lot. You do a lot of different things. You work here in the General Center, just all the things that you love about Angelo State. Uh, it's a lot of things that I love about Angelo State, man. You know, it's just, it's just like a big family over here. Like, you have people from the city, you know, just the community, like, being in contact with the program here and everything. I just love uh, anything about it, you know. Like, Dr. May, our president, you, you can see him how he's involved with the student and everything. Just some of the stuff that I love about Angelo State. All right, so a lot of new guys this year. Uh, you know, it's, it's a different kind of team. Talk about this team this year. What do you think the, the Rams of the 2015-2016 season, what will be the strength of this team, do you think? Um, we, we, we have uh, a lot of players who can play. You know, I think our bench is going to be our strength, you know. We, we got, uh, we're going to have uh, like a, a lot of people in the rotation, and we're athletic, so we can run the floor, and, you know, we can do, like, we can go in and out. That's, that's what I think is going to be our strength this year. Lone Star Conference, we know how tough it was last year. Yeah, I guess you'd expect the same thing this year, huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, the, the, this conference is one of the toughest ones in the country, like they say. So, you know, we, we're getting ready for it. And I'm trying to help the other players who just came in to understand how tough it is. And, you know, we can be ready mentally for it. Now, have you ever been outside of Texas in the States? 
Yeah, I went to Oregon to visit my aunts for a couple a couple days. I asked because you ever been in Las Vegas. No, nah, no, nah, I never been in Las Vegas. Of course, the Rams going to Las Vegas this year. Are you excited about that? That's gonna be pretty cool in December. Oh uh, yeah, I was uh, I was so happy when I saw it on the on the schedule. You know, I even went and told Coach that that was pretty cool. You know, and man, I just can't wait to see what we're gonna do down there. Uh, we'll wrap it up real quick. What's the main reason why you're so excited about this year? The main reason why I'm so excited about this year is that you know we have uh, Coach Boone right here. You know, I've enjoyed playing for him for the last past two years, and now he's a head coach and. Man, you know, he's just great mind, you know. I'm so excited to play for him. And the new players, you know, um, I'm happy with what I'm seeing during practice. So just can't wait to see how we're going to turn out in the games. Go back to Cinco Boon for one to kind of wrap this thing up. And you, you hear what Amari just said there. That, it's got to make you feel positive and a lot of good things head in the right direction. Absolutely. When you're a senior that's been here for two years, is excited. And um, when he knows what the conference is about, and he's excited with what our newcomers are bringing. And uh, I mean, I'm excited too. It starts on uh, November 17th? Uh, November 17th is our first home game. November 13th and 14th, we'll play uh, in a conference challenge over at Stephenville at Tarleton State. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mari. Thank you. All right, that's Angelo State Rams basketball here on Lone Star Conference Media Day.